Hi everybody. So today I'm in the middle of building a welcome box for one of our girls because we have two litters due and I needed a new box. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so what I use the our whelping boxes is just a sheet of plywood. I did a small one this time. I'm anticipating not a huge litter. I have an ultrasound and I check them and I uh, don't think she's going to have a big litter so I don't think she needs a huge box. Uh, we do have another whelping room already set up and it has a good size. So let me just show you what I'm doing here. So what I have laid out is um, the whelping box whoops sorry and what I'm doing now is just coating it with paint and this just happens to be a color that I had left over from a different project so I'm just using it so this is a six feet long by two and the cutout is pretty much like two feet by six inches the little cutout for mom to get in so this will be on the outside for mom to be able to get in the puppies will be able to get out um, as they get older but I usually deal with that when it gets here so this will be the two sides again this is two feet long I mean wide and six feet long because I like to be able to be in the box if I have to with her and that's what makes it nice so over here I have the two um, end caps so to speak the end pieces and um, these are like three and a half feet wide I use a little bit of a thicker on this one only because this is what I had kicking around it'll make the box more sturdy that still will work I'm pretty resourceful on using things that I have first so I also went ahead and sanded the edges so if the puppies jump up or whatever they're not good they're gonna have a smooth edge and I I did this also with every every edge we have so as you can see I corner I take the sander right to the corners and all these edges are nice and uh, smooth so if the puppies get up on it they're gonna be fine but it's a beautiful day out today in New Hampshire so I'm getting this off my to-do list and I'll show you a tour of our other whelping room um, when I'm done with this So now I'm in the room that Nala's gonna use for her whelping room. I'm gonna set up her box. I have the pieces all up here and I just um, uh, redid her floor. It used to be a wood floor and um, the thing with a wood floor is it gets scratched up and then you can't get it clean. This is planking that I have downstairs and I really love it. So I had, I thought I had enough to do this room, but I forgot this house, every room is huge. So this actually is taking, let's see, four, seven or eight boxes of planking. So I have most of the floor done. There's our cat, Sylvester. Um, so those are the boards too that are gonna hold it together. This is Nala. And you can see where I didn't have enough uh, flooring to finish. So I actually had to go back to the store and they didn't have any so I had to order three boxes and they're coming from Canada but for the most part most of the floors done where she's gonna be so I'll be able to clean it and and whatnot it's waterproof that's what we strive to get waterproof so I'm gonna put this baby together now let's checking things out whoops there she is come here Nellie no I got all these little L brackets to do the sides. Um, found them uh, at Home Depot on clearance, so I was pretty happy with that. It's the small things. So let's see, Nala. On that. Yeah, this is going to be for you, Nala. So I just got a 2x4 and I cut it into 2 inch long boards. And I use this just to um, support the corners so it has something, the screws have something to bite up against. So that's what I use these for. They'll just go like, this is the time you want your husband home because he's better at putting in screws than you are. Mine sure is. Now I thought you were my helper. 
It's harder than it looks. I'm not lying. I'm not lying, girl. She's a beautiful thing. Yes, yeah, she's a beautiful thing. So this is our big whelping room that we use. Um, I'm saving this for Eva. Uh, Eva's, you know, already been a mother. She's, she's experienced. She knows what to do. So this is our room that never is used really for anything else but whelping puppies and keeping them here for the eight weeks that we have them. I do have my incubator in here because with the summer when all the ACs were going, it was warmer in here to have the incubator on so that's about the only thing that i'll be moving out of this room um, when eva gets ready to take over and i usually start introducing them back into this room you know a week or so before they're born or two weeks depending on how big the mom is and how much rest she wants so like ebby has big litter so she's in here probably sooner because she just rests a lot and she had 14 puppies last time um with 12 survivors so we did pretty she did she's a very good mother also so let's take a look at the room so this is my board where i have pretty much everybody's birthday listed so this is everybody on the devoted danes gang gang's birthday and then I did, like I said, I had my ducks in here, so I had some duck when I was expecting some duck eggs to to hatch. And now I have guinea eggs in there, which this whole thing will just come out. Um, and this will be open with usually just bedding and stuff. And this is, we keep a light on all the time. And um, we have a TV in here, so we have a Blu-ray so you can watch movies. And I have medical stuff and, and whatnot down here. It's kind of, it kind of gets... A little cluttered in between and then I'll just go through and you know get rid of stuff but I have like medical supplies everything I need we keep Benny back on hand it's a lifesaver I always have extra toys hanging around tons of collars and I and a little scale so I can weigh them um, this is some new bedding that I tried that I don't like um, but this is their mega box so yeah this is as big as the room so this is huge and on the inside it has a white wall so it's really easily to wash like you could use a dry eraser on it if you wanted to so what i'll do when i get ready is i'll put from here to here um, a board up and this will be their potty area so with every litter you kind of learn Last time we had the potty area in the front and it kind of they were always near the entrance so i'd rather have the potty area back here and then have them sleep in the front and you see it's a cutout for mom to get in and out um you know we have murals of all our our pups this is frankie's and fiona's and you know it goes on and on ellie and then we just have started doing collages of everybody because we ran out of wall space <laughs> so Mom has her own waterer, her own raised dish in here. This is a bed that um, the puppies had that, you know, so we have some diggers. So, I mean, this is what happens. You buy a lot of, you know, stuff and, you know, it gets destroyed. Like, Mom, I think, yeah, Ebby scratched this. So, but this is big enough for all the puppies. So, I was thinking about just, I know how to sew, fixing it and see what I can do. Patch it and have it for another litter if not I have another one on hand um, these are pretty good because they hold um, they're you know they hold up to 200 pounds we don't have 200 pounds of puppies and then in the closets we have all kinds of bedding and pillows and supplies they have their whole line of clothes all our Danes have a bunch of clothes so that's hung up and that was for the incubator that's going to go back in we usually have a lounge chair up here for my husband. Uh, he has problems getting up and down. He's had knee surgery. So I'm usually the one that's sleeping in the box. He does too, but it's easier for him to sleep in the chair. And they do have like a nice window. So in the summer, it's a good breeze. But in the winter, we plastic up the window. And this is the smallest room in the house. The whole house is a big house. So that's why we picked this for the puppy room. Um, 
it works good. And what we used to do is we would take these apart and let them have free range of the room. But and then I noticed that they would start chewing on stuff and they would eventually get into stuff that you didn't want them into. So I just I just built this really big one. It's easily to clean. It's painted on the outside also. So, you know, when mom has puppies, she does, you know, have a lot of discharge in the beginning. So if you get blood or whatnot on it, you can clean it off. And we whelped puppies here. So we get into the gory mess of delivering puppies. You know, it's nothing for us. So we do also have, uh, we have a cot in the corner. So if we decide, um, we have a new mom and um, we need to be in here. We have an army cot we set up. So, I mean, two people can be in here. I normally have a TV that comes in here. It's in the hallway right now, but it, we have tons of TVs, so that's not a problem. So if you're up here, you have, you know, you can watch TV with them. Um, Eva's not a new mom, so she's not. I probably won't foresee myself having to stay too long in here with her. But we have had... Um, other moms that we've had to keep sleep with them for two weeks straight and stay in their room just because they were they got a really alarmed when the babies would um, they got really alarmed when the babies would cry and being a new mother you know we were there just to calm them down and let them know hey you know it's okay and that was Ebony now she's the best mother one of the best mothers she's great with her puppy she always has big litters and she they could squawk and she doesn't care she knows it's they're fine but in the beginning that's what you deal with so with nala being a new mom she's going to be in the room next to us we're up on the upper floor um half of our dogs are up on the up, upper floor they sleep at night up here so um but this is always a designated whelping room the other room isn't always a designated whelping room but it's going to be our second one for now we have had two and three whelping rooms in the past but um we don't we haven't had the need for that lately uh, we haven't bred as much this year but we have two litters it almost seems like they're all going into heat at the same time so it can be you know maybe a permanent whelping room the other one but um, we have these two litters due, Nala's due in the beginning of September, Eva's due the beginning of October, and then we also have a breeding uh, scheduled for December. So we're, they'll be bred in December, so we'll be busy for the fall and the, the beginning of winter, which is okay. Summer babies are good too, because you can bring them outside and enjoy it. You know, it just, it, just the way it works. So sometimes you you know you have the you don't have to worry about having it hot in here for the summer so it's kind of nice but the winter is a little bit more tricky you got to keep the heat up you know make sure that they're warm so we just put this floor down it's industrial glue we try different things all the time for flooring because our house is a 1700 farmhouse so it's all wood floors which is great for normal people but for people with nine danes it's not a good flooring it's pine so it scratches super easy and then once it scratches you really can't get it that clean because it's all like grooved so we have put a new subfloor and then this has industrial glue down tiles um i find that i like the vinyl planking better but we're gonna leave this for now we just did this last year until we decide uh, we don't like it anymore we'll just pull it up and do planking too but um with the planking like I'm waiting for three more boxes to finish the other room and then that room will be done but we did pretty much our whole downstairs with that we're really it's very durable if you have dogs I would recommend it um, it's not hard to install we were going to pay installers to come and then COVID happened and I said well I guess I'll see if I can learn to do it and because I had other friends that had done it themselves and it's it's doable you know what I mean you can do it so if I can do it I mean I, I uh, took me longer than yeah somebody that I would hire but it's done I love it and I can do any room in the house that I want now so and it being an old house it helps us so this is what the big whelping room looks like and Nala's gonna have her own little whelping room over there so we'll see